how my day went. <laughs> I uh, uh, Bright House once again yesterday they red were red light camera reported ahead. Uh, red light camera reported ahead. Um, they were supposed to. Well, she was looking for a place for me to be able to return the equipment. And she's like, or we can come pick it up. And I was like, oh, if you could come pick it up, that'd be great. So she was like, okay, when? And I was like, tomorrow afternoon would be fabulous. And she was like, how about between 12 and 2? I was like, oh, that's perfect. So once again, as usual, get home, get the laundry in, 4 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock this morning, there's a bang on my door. Uh, Bright House, I'm here to pick up some equipment. I'm like, in 1,000 feet, mm. turn left. You were supposed to be here between 12 and 2. It is 9 o'clock in the morning. There's a reason that I asked for that. But whatever. I don't care. So it's all good. They came. I am through with Bright House. And again, being a resident of Orlando, if you have any possibility whatsoever of not getting Bright House, do not do it. AT&T, Comcast, anything. Comcast, whatever just not Bright House. They are absolutely horrible. I have, like I said, now about four and a half pages of letters of just incident after incident after incident of them. It's just nuts. But that's neither here nor there. I am done and through with them, and their equipment is back, and they owe me money now, so we'll see if I get that. But anyway... So, anyway, uh, that guy came. I was able to get back to sleep, thankfully. Got up, and last night on the way home, my little, like, red oil light was blinking, but I still have, like, a thousand miles before I'm actually supposed to get the oil changed. So, went and changed the oil, went to check the oil, and it was, like, not even reading on the dipstick. So, I was like, oh, my gosh. Ran down to Mobile at the corner of where I live to just have them put it in because I was, like, panicking, and the guy's like, yeah. he's like, you're okay, you don't need oil change. He's like, you're down about a quart and a half. He puts it in, and he's, like, paying his cash or charge, and I was, like, credit card, and he's, like, it's all good. Have a good day. I was, like, what? He's, like, it's all good. Have a good day. Free oil. What? What? When did this happen? I'm, like, oh, my gosh. So, yeah, I got my oil done. Just dropped Josh, and now I am back on my way across town, hopefully, finally, to take that club test that I was supposed Turn to be taking. International Drive. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, except that I missed the light. Here's another thing. In Orlando, if you do not know, especially if you have a rental car, I don't know if you can see them, but do you see on top of those, the lights up there, there are these little, like, right there. These things, those are cameras. And much like in other countries, if you do not stop or if you go through the yellow light and it turns red, there are cameras all over at all four stop lights um and they will take your picture and you will get a ticket so just be really careful the yellow lights are pretty long but definitely if you can stop stop because you won't make it through you will get a ticket um and they will send it and if they send it to the car rental place um you'll wind up paying not only for the ticket but car rental fees on top of that so it'll cost you double as much so just be sure to try to stop for sure so you'll you're going to notice that um here in actually throughout florida I know for sure in Fort Lauderdale, Miami, and here, if you um, try to run a red light, uh, or if it, the light turns yellow, you're going to see Floridians are going to stop. The people that go through them are people that don't live around here and don't know that they're about to get a ticket. So, just a friendly... Good afternoon, everyone. So, got up this morning and just had other stuff to do with laundry and whatnot, and was kind of getting my warm room kind of fixed up as well. But, um, other than that, just drop Josh, and I'm going to go home and run. But first, I've got to go to the post office, because I ordered, um, like a step counter type thing, you know, like a, whatever, it was the Everlast one, and I actually got two, and one works, and the other one is, mine does not work at all. So, it, like, doesn't hold a charge, and I called Everlast to try to get it fixed, and they never called me back. So, I'm like, eh, return it, and I'll just get another one. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm on my way to go do that. So, nothing exciting today, just, you know, kind of same old, same old. We'll just see. Not too sure exactly what I'm going to wind up doing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Iron Man's standing out at the corner of the building there, uh, or at the end of the sidewalk. 
with like a sign, like a sign twirler thing, but he's dressed as an Iron Man, so it's kind of funny. But anyway, so that is my... Okay, so post office check already done. Um, in a second here, I just literally, only because I wanted to show you, uh, air conditioner, um, only because I wanted to show you, I'm now behind a bunch of bushes, but I was going to show you I-4, <laughs> and why people in, who live in Orlando do not take I-4 as much as possible, like, you take every possible road except for that, and it's coming up here in a second, but I'll just give you a quick... There it is, over on the side here. It actually is not going too, too bad right now, and to tell you the truth, it's pretty good, considering the fact that it's 4 o'clock, or 4.50, I guess. But also, right there, there is the Eye of Orlando as well, so that's kind of neat. And here's a bunch of hotels, but um, literally on the other side of I-4 is International Drive, which is like hotel capital of the world, basically. Well, I guess Las Vegas would have us be with that, but... For the most part, that's where, like, a lot of the hotels are in the area. Remember I was telling you about running the red lights? There it is. $262 fine for running the red light, which is kind of crazy. So just be super duper careful when you're doing that. Okay, I'm not too sure what this person is doing, but I'm going to go. And especially around the areas of the parks, no matter which park you're at, be really careful because there are a lot of tourists <laughs> from a lot of different countries with a lot of different driving styles. So just saying, be super careful. Oops, I'm not even focusing. By the way, here is the construction that is going on. It's insane how much they're getting done at Universal. It's just absolutely crazy. But here's the other section. This is what, but where Volcano Bay is going to be, and there is Cabana Bay. It's the backside of Cabana Bay, and there's the backside of Universal over there. That actually, that building over there, in the distance, that is Jurassic Park. No matter. By the way, for those who say we don't have fall, that we have fall, we do have fall. We have some deciduous trees. We don't have Esto causa. Oh, what? Es algo a lo que se... <laughs> Well, kids, it is very late. Once again, it's like almost four, and I had to parallel park <laughs> between two other cars in the very front of our apartment complex because they are repaving. Because there aren't enough parking spaces anyway, and that was making it even worse. But hopefully, by the time they're done, it will be great. So, uh, yeah. So here's good night, and I uh, hope you guys have a great night. Had a great day, and remember, it's all part of the plan. See you tomorrow night.